Now I know I initially said that I wasn't going to do any electroplating um, because I couldn't get any copper sulphate but of course you can use copper in a solution it's quite easy and so um, we had a go and the first thing was and look of course and all I've done is it, I used, you're supposed to use distilled water and I've used ordinary water but let me just turn this viewfinder so I can see what I'm showing you um, there you are I've had that long while I mentioned it yesterday right it's uh, baking powder right and I put two or three te you know teaspoons in some water in there and just tried it and oh, I ain't got it up here anyway I had an 18 volt drill charger and I put it on with these I just got some bits of wire well I'll show you this one because that's that's what happens I don't use those two you see and I just got some bits of wire and wrapped them around some dowel and crushed them in the vise to make the surface area more right and I did four well after a while it had gone blue so I thought well I'll give it a bit more I left it about half an hour anyway the transformer burnt out so I went round and looked and this one was perfect it's the right voltage for it I'll just read you the voltage it's uh, my old Sony camera um, charger that's what it is and just in case you want to know the voltage for it because it says it on here 8.4 volts 1.7 amps that's what it says it's keeping cool and it's doing a good job so that's about what we want anyway um, let me get this cloth I've done these look I've done that one yesterday and polished it up just the head we only want the head do we and it's gone blackish it changed colour anyway so they want wire brushing up though they do and so you know I need 21 and I've got 20 done <laughs> I've been giving them about and it is about quarter of an hour each and I found that seems to be plenty because we've only got to colour them have we and I've just been wiping this on the cloth like you know so that's how they come out if you can see that all right that's the results we're getting and uh, when they're dry of course more fingers dropped them in the floor Right, so when they're dry, they're going like that. So I'm going to give them a quick, just a quick wire brush and then polish the heads on the buffing wheel. Anyway, so all I'm doing, now what it was, I thought I haven't got any acetone, you know, to clean them. And of course, these are already nickel plated, you see. That was another thing put me off doing copper plating. I was going to show you a different way of doing it but I couldn't and I don't think I can now anyway I've got this it's um it, it's actually acetone free but it does the same job and as you can see it's doing a good job so all I'm doing is uh, cleaning this head of this up we only want the head cleaning do we clean that up and it seems to be working as you've seen and I put it in here and what I did as well, I'll tell you later, I, I did buy a packet of these ends, got two crop clips and I found one of my little screws, just went on there and soldered the wires to it and it seems to be working out alright. So I'll put that in there and immediately I'll just take you off the tripod and show you this if I can, if at all possible. Right, I've got two zoom out so it's steadier right now I'm sure you can see it's fizzing away nicely isn't it right 
So, we'll come back in a quarter of an hour. Got them all done. Well, if you can see in this light, there's a little bit of a coppery sheen on them, isn't there? You know. And uh, that's come all right. However, I rotary really wire brushed them all, as I said. You see now I do that on the drill in the vise. Got away with that. But then it actually took longer buffing them up on the wheel. And I didn't get away with that because I was doing one like this and it shot across the room. <laughs> and it's, I think it landed in that box there. So we're one short. Anyway, um, I think it's got to be easier to do another one. <laughs> than, it is got to be easier to do another one than find that one. So anyway, what I'll do, I'll just uh, also, by the way, to save me hand and save the day, I've uh, I've done I found that it was a cheap old socket set, you know, on them cheap ones, and a hexagon thing which I've ground the end with the square and pressed it on, and that'll go in the drill, you see. So that should save the day a bit, shouldn't it? Now I'm sure you'll remember as well that uh, two of these have to be short, whichever ones they are. So anyway, what we'll do. Leave it there. I'll get my drill. I'll try and put this so I can see just what I'm doing and you, you might be able to keep my hand out of the way a little bit. Um, just see if I can put this in the vise because when these roll out I'm going to re-buff it up again. Ooh. That was a tough one. But it's coming out. That's all it's got to do. That's the little one you see. Probably this one is. No, that's the long one. And that's a little one. Well, I've just quickly um, buff this up again. So we'll just see if it's possible to uh, put them in with this. I'll turn it down a bit to start with and just see if it'll if they go in or not. That's all right, isn't it? So we've put five long ones in here. That's a bit easier, isn't it? And a bit quicker. That's all right, that is. I'm quite pleased with that. That's working properly. That one needs a bit more power. Probably went slightly crooked. Take it out again, start again, eh? Yeah. Let me just... That's it. It'll go in now. That's all right. So, what do you think? Before we go any further... Oh, this light's glary, isn't it? There you are. That's better. Right, you see Steve said, well, they want to be a contrasting colour. And in this light, well, they, they look different. You can see the difference. You know what they were like before. So, and I've polished that, you see. So they're now dark, right? Not black, but they're dark. Right, there you go. Let me know what you think. We can always go back the other way, of course. 